fans are on hand to watch a great renewal of a rivalry that dates back to the late 1800s, Utah and BYU. This is the first possession of the ball game now for Utah. They have the ball. BYU's quarterback, Sarkeesian, was picked off just moments ago. And so now, on a second down situation, Rocky Henry on the receiving end of the pass. But Mike Fouts gets out close to the 20-yard line. The starter's done an outstanding job leading this football team. Third down. Now following the big boozing running back. Gets the first down and more. Out close to the 30-yard line. And we go to work at the 30-yard line. Now follow. Oh, the contact as he gets out close to another first down at the 39-yard line. Close to the 40-yard line. Out throwing. Finds his man, Kevin Dyson. Gets close to the 46-yard line. Second down situation. Lust in motion. Alapala, he's got room. Head down, hammers through one defender. Takes three others to pull him down as he's now into BYU territory. Three split to the left, two to the right. Fouts has time. Got all kinds of time. Now floats it out. Oh, a one-hand snag made by Henry Lusk. We understand that Malafala has had a jersey change. The pass, however, to Dyson out here. Has stopped for no gain, and it could not be better today. Five receivers. And Fouts has no place to go. He's trapped behind the line of scrimmage. Shea Muirbrook coming up. They will try to kick it away from him towards the sideline. This one goes into the end zone for the touches. 27 and a fraction points per game. And so Keegan figures mightily in those numbers. Looking to throw and completing the ball. At the 35-yard line. Mike E. Neely, I'm sorry. Sarkisian with time, and again, completing for another first down. Keiko McGuire on the air following the Michigan Penn State game. All down the sidelines, but out of bounds, making the catch was Emuli afternoon. Ball bounces and goes out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. At stake, a possible postseason bowl bid. Kyle Fowler losing his way out across the 20, the 23-yard line. Eddie Sampson getting the win over Virginia in that rivalry today. Here's Malafala trying the opposite side. Is he stopped? Indeed, he is behind the line of scrimmage. For the first down. Bounce dancing out of the pocket, being chased. Fires upfield. Complete on the sideline, and the catch is good at the 48-yard line by Henry Lusk. He's lined up on the left side of the line. Passing action again, Rocky Henry trying to stay on his feet. He eludes two tacklers. He gets down to the 43-yard line. Jamil Reed had the hit over there. Less than a yard at the 43. Here's Malafala, and this time he falls forward. He may have the first down. It looked like they had him stopped, but 274 pounds against Jamie Cook didn't end when the scoreboard showed all zeros. This will be the last play. They take the reverse. Ron Johnson with the ball. Down close to the 31-yard line and going to be very close to a first down as that will bring to conclusion the first quarter. Shea Muirbrook came up with the tackle. So we'll swap positions on the field. We'll take a break. We'll be back with second quarter action in a moment. They had 15 people patrolling it through the night to make sure it stayed white this time. Now a follow-up breaks it. Will he go all the way? There's his first touchdown of the ball game. Chris Formatu Maafala, 274 pounds, goes 32 yards for the opening score. Watch the blocking up front on the right side. Chris Ray, 66, the tight end, 84, sealed. That's Rick Tucker, and he has the speed to break away. That's what makes this guy so remarkable. Now they haven't controlled it thus far in this one, and they trail by seven. Let's see how they answer that. Ball is deflected, but it is caught by Johnston. He is out of bounds. After picking up close to six yards, down to a five teams in the running. Two of them will get a chance for postseason play. Big hole. Mark Atuwaya grinding down to about the 36-yard line. And keep Mafala from breaking into the secondary. Sarkeesian being blitzed. He gets it off and completes the pass at the 34-33-yard line. Full attempt from the 40-yard line. The kick on the way from Hanson, and it is good. 
<laughs> his guys. And right now, Holly, he's got three wide receivers to the right side. He looks right, throws it on the slant to Henry. Henry with some running room across the 50-yard line down to the 47. Henry is split wide to the near side. Malafala with the ball. He's not going anywhere this time. Stopped short of the line of scrimmage. His office yesterday. Malafala again has finally knocked him off his feet. There is a 40-pound weight differential. Third and eight. Bounce has a man. It's Henry out of bounds inside the 30. The die might find himself being picked on. Ron Johnson crashing inside the 20 to the 18. Fisher. Ron Johnson getting a, could be an audible situation from Fox. Inside handoff, Johnson into the 10, down to the 8-yard line. This one will be a 25-yard attempt. We have whistles. There was a penalty marker down. Dead line. ball. Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Oh, boy, a missed field goal. He gets to kick it again. It's really a, a break for Utah. 29-yard attempt down the way. And he says, thank you very much. Yes. And we have a 10 to 3 ball game. <laughs> Flat strip kick out of the 18 yard line. Tom Baldwin, who doesn't get many opportunities to return kicks, gets this one out to about the 35 yard line. And there's a massive humanity from the 34 yard line. Sarkeesian, a little play action fake being chased. Oh, what a great defensive play by Chad Kahaha. Oh, and Dutch, you'd add a couple of more syllables in there. Talk about budget cuts. Occasion. A couple of pump picks. Now keeps it up the sideline. Gets back up near the initial line of scrimmage where this series started. They're in their home turf. You showed blitz, but they rush only four men. The ball's deflected, and now it's picked off. At the 30-yard line, Armin Boglin, the linebacker. Chad Kahaha, I think, was the man. Yeah, look at that celebration. First watch, number 45 on the right side. Time has jumped. Gets a big paw. He did. Hit him almost in the shoulder pads, didn't it? And then Armin Boglin is in position. On the 30-yard line in BYU territory. Fouts going for Brooks. Got him in. Deflected. No good. Malakala <laughs> back to that short shin to about the 25-yard line. Third down, out of the shotgun. Softly over the middle, the catch is made for a first down at the 16-yard line. It's the football around all of his receivers. This is Ron Johnson. Oh, you hear the pop. Man, there's some serious <laughs> combat going on down there right I, now. I really like this guy, Tim McTire. I mean Second down and 19. Making the catch is Rocky Henry. And it's good at the clinch. It's third and two. Lost in motion. Malafara. He's not going to get the first down. Thrown for a loss. Eight. He hammers this one through. So BYU averaging 27 points a game. They have just three thus far. But trying to get something going here is Bloomfield. Rumbles out across the 30. Had a little restless. A little frustrated here on the campus of BYU at the lack of scoring opportunity. Akawaya pulled down, but he gains only a couple of yards. From the 34-yard line, third down for Sarkeesian. This one is not down. Boy, there's that man, Kahaha, once again. Of course, he caused the interception. Alan Boardman with the punt. Floats it lazily down to about the 28-yard line where Lusk has nowhere to go. Stop. <laughs> Isn't that the That's truth? an interesting angle. Bounce looking. Oh, he's in trouble now. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Stan Ross. Punt return man as Pulsifer booms it out of there. This one is going to bounce and go out of bounds, so they continue to try to kick the ball away. Here's Sarkeesian. Four-man rush. Oh, and they've got him. Down at the 32, and now Peckenham. <laughs> Should be the final play of the half. Deep to the far side. And, oh, a great interception. Snagged by Clarence Lawson. And Lawson trying to find some running room to the 35 and down, and that will do it.
So for the third time in a matter of 30 minutes of playing time, Sarkeesian has been picked off. That time he overthrew his receiver and an easy pickoff for Clarence Lawson. 13 to three is our halftime score here at Pro Bowl. And they have to execute their offense. And Utah again with 232 total yards and the three turnovers have hurt the Cougar team today. Sarkeesian for the first time being intercepted three times in the game. The Utes trying to grind away, and boy, the BYU defense all muscling up there. Let's have a good uh, drive here to open the second half and put more points on. Well, a follow across the 25 to the 26-yard line this time. Tyson and McTyre pushes him out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And oh, look at the emotion there. <laughs> McTyre <laughs> stripped the football out. Offensive line. Third down, pitch out, Johnson. Oh, nice job of reading the scene and getting back across the 45-yard line, third quarter. Juan Johnson with a spin move, breaks one tackle and gets inside the 40, close to the third down. Five wide receivers from the shotgun. It's Dyson. Still on his feet and down at the 27-yard line. One pass all year. He came into the game with 14 catches, working one on one with Dermell Reed. Reed not in good position to be able to make a play on that football. This is Dye from the four yard line. Oh, look out. He pops it outside. He gets across the 25, and there was about one man. This <laughs> myself. <laughs> no, no, right no, you stay right here. Not to Trying to get a block. Oh, and he's popped as he just tried to turn the corner. Akeja, who had thrown only one interception in the last three games, had three in the first half, stays on the ground for a five-yard pickup as Atuwaya. Football over the years, and all the great quarterbacks that have come through here. Apparently, Mark down as we have movement. The pass is complete out over the 40-yard line. Mike Neely in motion. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. He's got a man. He completes the ball at the 35-yard line. To you got an illegal oh, shift again. Yeah. Lust from the 20-yard line. Dances away from one man. Look out as he gets across the 35, stumbles and falls at the 38-yard line. The play with uh, ribs that are sore or currently just been torn. Here's a rare sack. His bounce goes down. Stan Ross leading the defensive charge. The touchdown pass to Terrence Kehoe. Look at the throw again. Pocket collapses. Gets it off. He's got a man wide open. It's Kehoe again. Time to deliver that football. From the 28-yard line. Play action fake. Pressure. Gets it off and completes it at the 25-yard line to the tight end Zucker. Deep spot. Here comes the blitz again, but this time the running situation, and Malafala being strung out on the outside. Got maybe a couple of tough yards. Of what, 14 different fermentations on this scenario. This is Dyson. Dyson breaks loose. Pulled down of the 14-yard line by Stan Ross. And Dyson was in the end zone had it not been for Ross. And a late penalty flag has just been thrown over for Utah. Personal foul on the defense. And That's the distance to the goal. Ooh. Looking to throw, touchdown! Wow. Lusk just inside the goal line, and Utah has taken total command of this ball game. Here, and hope they get a turnover on defense. Sarkeesian with a quick pass over the middle. It is complete to the tight end, Neely. Certainly those fears have been justified thus far. Complete again. This time it's Jason Cooper. Great job with the first two plays on this drive. Inside handoff. Kamui to the 48-yard line. Where they countered and came on the ground that time. Pro Bowl 27-3 in favor of the Utes. will return with more action between the Cougars and the Utes after this message and a word from our ABC stations. On the line for both of these clubs. 
play action fake. Sarkeesian now flips it out to Hamuli. Hamuli gets into Utah territory. <laughs> that time to throw. Steps up. Arm may have been hit. Completes the pass right over the middle. Hello, who? At the 20 yard line. First down, early fourth quarter. Going deep. He's got a man. Hamuli has the touchdown catch. And the Cougars igniting this crowd. Now, wait a minute. Was he out of bounds? Let's see if we can find out in this end zone look. As he's coming down the sidelines, everything is fine there. Watch that left foot. That's right on the line. And the official. He's out of protection this time, but no receivers open. Sarkeesian trying to fend off people. And finally, in the grasp, he's pulled down. Nate Kia was there. And you can't fault the offensive line there, Gary. I mean, no. that was good protection. That's a covered sack. Looking toward the left corner. Pass is made at the 10-yard line. The completion to the tight end. <laughs> Look at that Neely, spot. Is he going to be there for the first down or not? Still, I still want to know how that quick stick works. It's Utah's ball. They put the stick on the other side. How does that work? Terrific move on. That looks like Robert Love, 35 in coverage. But you can see that's where he catches the football, is, and that ball never really makes it past yeah. the yard line. The spot is right there. The Cougars defense now, third and seven. Just throwing it out here for Dyson, and he can't hang on to it. He angles it away from Dye. Oh, there's a lot of bounds before it even got to midfield. And San Diego State would win. Then BYU would win the conference. But if they lose, then we could very well have a four-way tie at the end of the next week. It's always this way with the WAC, though. It seems to always come down to the last game, right? Yeah, it will be. A good one, team. Here they have a definitive system where a champion would be declared. Got a blitz coming. Look out. Sarkeesian evades the blitz. He throws. He's got a man. He's got a touchdown. Touchdown. Try to get two. Johnson is the motion man. On the run, the throw is complete. Cooper. Jason Cooper provides him with the catch, and a two-point conversion makes this a 16-point game with 10.55 to go. So finally, after they were denied and when they thought they had a touchdown in the last series... is complete. Lusk dances across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Henry Lusk with the reception side right now. Third down and eight. Over the middle, the catch made by Lusk, but only to the 45, 46 yard line, well short of the first down. He return numbers. And we may get a shot this time. No, it's going to get out of bounds again. Sure this time or not. Four man rush. Right over the middle, but the ball just behind Neely, who could not run. Oh, a penalty marker. Foolish mistake to hit the two of Neely like that after the play. It's... Completes this one, but there's no place to go. Trying to shake away, going backwards is Mike Johnston. Steps up and fires over here. And at the 47, Cousin again out of the shotgun. Again, working against the four-man rush. He's in the grasp and he's down at the 50-yard line. Packers hold up against the onslaught of the ends of the Utes. Trailing 27 to 11. Over the middle, intercepted. It's the fourth time it's happened today. Jason Hooks back into BYU territory. And there you see him, 49. Watch him in his drop. He spies the quarterback now, moves across, and really, there were two Utah defenders that had a chance to make that interception. So did Oliveo, number 43, went through his, his, his hands. Sarkeesian saw either one of those players. He was watching his receiver the whole way. So that's an 80 plus pass. That's the left tackle. Ball's going to the right side of Johnson. Inside the 40, close to a 38 yard line. Such. Utah done a great job on those third down conversions. This bounce, the third down, and he's got another first down as he hits the tight end Tucker. One passes, one of us, one of the key hands. Johnson with nowhere to go this time. 
thrown for a small loss. Not even enough for many up. Now we're just envious. <laughs> That's right. Bird Johnson, oh, nice run, gets inside the 25, the 24 yard line. He picked the tail, it's certainly one of those clubs. On the rollout, Fouts has to slide down. I don't know if that was a broken play or a design play. It was a missed handoff. He could total of 18 in the season, but right now with a fourth down, he each stay. And they're going deep. Here's Dyson. It abounds at the two-yard line. How about that for fourth down drama when you're trying to protect a 16-point lead? And I'll tell you one thing. This is something everybody's going to remember next year coming into this football game. Is he there? Touchdown. He waited and waited, and then from the side, interception, something that he's going to be having nightmares about more than likely. Quality young man, however, we're going to hear a lot from him before his football career is over. Sarkeesian fires, Keala Luhi at the 35-yard line. They wind the clock, we come down to the one-minute mark. This one complete to Johnston. He's out of bounds to stop the clock. Fourth down from the 43. To get the first down, Adewaya gets to midfield. But the clock, he's in for Utah. Now they'll just have to wait and see what happens in the other remaining games and see if they'll get a bowl invitation. You know, and I think the bye week really helped them. It helped Penn State today in their preparation against Michigan. Mm, look at this. USC, USC lost, lost today. that game in UCLA. Yeah. Even though they're going uh, to the Rose Bowl, they already had a tie for the Pac-10. USC with another loss. And I don't think John Robinson, he's 0-5 now against Houston. Florida State. Uh, one. Kansas State is losing, however. It's all right. The throw for the end zone. Touchdown, Hamulu. Kind of ironic. It seems like that's a play they were trying to make go. This whole fourth quarter, and finally they're able to get the touchdown, 18-yarder to him, Yuli. The team, they will go for the two-point conversion as Tarkeesian rolls out. Got pressure from behind and in front, and he overthrows Johnston, his intended receiver. It's a big bounce. Got the nope. cross, and no problem. Johnson picks it up. No, it's Lusk. Harold Lusk. Harold trying to... <laughs> he's going to run out the clock here and get on his own. He couldn't quite... Let me give you a little tip here, Harold. On an onside kick, you ought to just take the football and kneel down to play as a quarterback. And he's got, time got his opportunity this year. One, maybe two at best opportunities right here. Now they're not even going to fool around with this situation. That's going to be it. At Cougar Stadium in Provo, Utah, the Utes from the University of Utah have put a severe crimp in BYU's plans with a 34-17 victory. Back in a moment.